Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Rimelda, and today this one is highly requested Bahamian homemade bread. Watch me do it. Okay, right now I'm going to mix a tablespoon of yeast into two cups of warm water. That's dry yeast. Then I added half cup of flour and one tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm just combining them together. Now you don't want to use more yeast than that because the bread is going to rise too quickly and then it's going to be dry. Okay, now I'm going to add the flour. This scoop equals one cup. So I'm going to use about six of these, six cups of flour. This is all-purpose flour, by the way. This is not bread flour, but you can use bread flour if you wish. All-purpose. This is what my grandma used. This is what mommy used. So I'm making it her way. I have some Crisco, some evaporated milk. I dare to add on in. But most persons today use butter. But I'm using it, I'm using Crisco. They use lard back in those days, in, in the day. But I'm using Crisco shortening. Okay, that's one cup of sugar. That scoop equals one third of a cup. Three of those would be one cup. Salt, just a little bit of that, about a half teaspoon. Just to balance off everything. Now I'm going to mix everything up with my hand. That's the flour, sugar, and the salt. Making bread is very simple, easy. But I know most persons don't like that mixture on their hand. But if you don't have the machine, you're going to have to do it. Your mommy did it. Your grammy did it. Now you can do it. Now the Crisco. going to stop the bread from being dry. How about a cup of this? Now that may look like a lot, but once it's melted, then you will see it's just a cup full. Just eyeballing everything today. One cup. You're still in quarantine, so you have to make do with what you have. I'm tired of buying bread. And my kids love my bread, so we are working it here. I'm just combining everything with the Crisco. So that's the flour, sugar, salt, and the Crisco. Mixing up everything together. Next is the milk. Carnation evaporated. Whatever, whichever type of milk you have, feel free to use it. Just about a cup full. One cup should do it. These are the ingredients that I saw my mom used in her bread, homemade bread, and it was delicious. Next is the yeast mixture. That is just yeast, warm water, a little bit of sugar, and some flour. My grandma used to call it leaven. Okay, that's the rising agent right there. Now you're gonna combine all of this together. With, it's a bit messy, but you know, I'm gonna work it out. I'm an island girl, so I know how to do it. Combine all of this together until it forms a ball. Then you can bring everything home. So today we are serving fresh homemade bread today. Homemade bread. It's gonna come together. Patience, patience, patience. That's all you need for this. So, give it a try. Kids would love you for it. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't purchase bread no more. 
in your life once you try it and it comes out so just watch it watch what I'm doing pay attention no more buying bread here this is good exercise for me my arms all right no more store-bought bread Sometimes I get lazy and I don't do it, so... But, my husband insists that I make some. My daughter wanted some. I only have three loaf pans. So, every time I make bread, it's only three loaves. Uh. So, no, that is. They don't last. I'm putting it onto the countertop. Just to give it a good mixing. Knead it until it is smooth. Just for about eight to ten minutes. That should bring it home. Gotta try this out now. This is pretty simple. See now it's together. It's no longer messy. And it's night too, by the way. I started it so late today. Oh my god. I made pumpkin soup today. Now I'm doing the bread. I had a lot, a lot of other stuff to do today. So that should do it. going to add a little bit of spray to this pan to stop it from sticking as it rises. Allow it to double in size. Cover it down and wait for it to do its thing all by itself. There you have it. Now it's ready for the second kneading and then I'm gonna add it to the pans, the baking pans. Just a little bit of sugar, I'm sorry, flour. Because the dough is not no longer sticky. It's no longer sticky now, just releasing the air. So I'm gonna knead it for a few more minutes. So it's nice and pliable now. Oh, the texture is smooth. You can even see the difference, in, the difference in it. Easier to work with. This is Bahamian homemade bread. The island way. Like I said, you can substitute the shortening with butter. And I'm doing it the way my grammy used to do it, my mommy used to do it. I'm doing it the Bahamian way. Okay, now it's time for the pans. These a little wiping out and grease them down. Just love the spray. Add the pan to the pan. These are my only, I had some other pans, but you know, as they get so old, you just get rid of them. I shouldn't have. I should have kept them, but I have to get at least two more, or maybe three more. And I will, so I have three pans. One glass and two tin. I'm going to make three loaves and a dozen rolls. You want the rolls, so. And the rolls are easier to eat, so. Now, I am not too much of a bread person. I don't know why. I love to make them, but I don't like to eat them because bread 
cause you to put on a lot of weight. And I am trying to stay away from that as much as, much as I can. I love to cook. I don't like to eat as much. I only eat when it's necessary. One down. These are gonna be good, soft, and not dry because I didn't go overboard with the yeast. The ingredients are very simple. Flour, sugar, Crisco, yeast, salt, water, what else? That's about it. And of course, a lot of love. Combined with patience. You have to allow it to rise all by itself. That takes time. And like I said before, it's night time. Right now it's after 9, so I guess everything will be finished after 11. Oh my word. My daughter promised to stay up with me tonight. My husband is in the room, so we'll get there. So these are for my rolls, 12, one dozen. Like I said, these are the only no fans that I have. And I don't like to join them on, so. Three would do for now. Each of my daughters would get one for their family. And one would be for us here. How does that sound? Well, at least they'll get a taste. The rolls are just about finished. So, after which I am going to. This is night time, so I'm going to allow them to to proof or rise in the oven. Just going to turn the light on so that they can go a little faster in the oven. The oven is going to be off. Just the, just the oven light would be on. After spring, I will put them in. Allow them to come up. They're in the oven. Okay, there you have it. That's after an hour. All ready to enjoy. I didn't let them rise too much. They could go a little more, but man, it's getting late. It's after 11. So, they're gonna be good. So if you have more time, you can just allow them to rise a little more. But they are ready. They are perfect. That's a good one. I think I'm gonna save that one for us. I'll be cutting that one to show you how it came out. Okay, that's it. Three beautiful loaves. Just putting a little bit of spray on them. That's gonna go through. There you have it. Homemade bread, the Bahamian way. Try some today. Look at them. I would like to say thank you very much to all 6,000 of my subscribers right here. God bless you. I will be doing a celebration soon. So please come out and support. I wanna see all of you there. All 6,000. Look at the perfect slices. Oh my word. Nice. Soft. And it's not dry. This is Bahamian bread. Island bread. Look at it. Oh my word. Perfect slices. Okay. There you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. 
please leave me a comment share me out subscribe hit the bell become a part of this family god bless you and i will see you in the next one please watch the ads now